Hey guys, Justin here. I'm in Red Cliff Station right now and ready to take 292 now. Two three seven nine is in today, so let's do it. This is the one out of two of the luggage racks, but that's still available for now. We're on board two nine two here, Red Cliff to Perth Airport Terminal Three and Four Circular. And for the luggage rack buses, they don't have seats at the front. They are the luggage racks all the way up there. So there are two remain right now. Originally, there are there were six, which actually runs for 380 and random routes that sometimes apparently use them as well as well. But now only use on 292, and they have removed four of them already. That means they didn't remove the bus. They just removed the luggage racks on the bus. And there remain two of them right now, which is 2379, which we're on right now. And we have 2380. Uh, originally it was raining actually when I hit Red Cliff, but now it's okay. But the rain is still on so it might get affected a little bit. And also I want to say according to the caption, why need this? Yes, this is the caption. Why need this? Because this route is completely unnecessary. Yeah, it's really unnecessary because if you actually, originally we have 40, we have 40 from EQ to T3 and T4. Now they have 940 from EQ to Redcliffe. Why not just set up 940 and goes to T3 and T4 as well? Why they don't do that? If, if originally they have 40, or actually if, in my opinion, 40 can be kept and extends 40 and via Redcliffe station, that's already fine. Of course they want to make it high frequency, then okay, cool, 940. Why not just set 940 as EQ to Perth Terminal 3, Perth Airport Terminal 3 and Terminal 4 via Red Cliff? <laughs> Originally, term, uh, 40 and 935 both terminate inside Perth Airport. So why not just set up, I, I, I guess I can, you can put 39 and 935 terminating Red Cliff. But why not just terminate 940 in airport via Red Cliff? So, for, so exactly how the path is going to go. Why not just set up 940? Do the good old path from do the current path from EQ to Redcliffe, loop in here, and then loop back out and goes to airport and terminate at the airport. Why not just do that? And then just turn and then 940 when it goes back, it would take the same path as the 292 right now after the terminal 3 and terminal 4 stop. Loop around the industrial center area and then come back here to Redcliffe and then goes to EQ. What's the point of having this route if you can just do 940 like that, you know? Anyways, so that's why this route is very unnecessary. If they just, if they could just set up set up nine forty, that actually goes to the airport. But anyways, we'll do it. We'll do circular route. But now, uh, yeah, we'll do circular route. Let's do it. Now also because of uh, they're using luggage rack bus for this route, the driver for this route is very, very unfortunate because he just has to drive 292 all day. <laughs> yes, he just has to drive 292 all day because this bus does not do other routes. This bus has to be on 292 for the whole day service. So that's why this driver basically has to just keep looping and looping and looping until his end of the end of his uh, 292 shift or he switched to another route. But until he's done with 292 for the day, he has to drive 292, 292 all day, non-stop. So, which is pretty sad because it's just this boring little loop. <laughs> Some might argue, then how about 301? 301 is uh, the route that connects Midland Station and Midland Hospital. It's just like six minutes for the full journey after looping that loop. But well, 301, the drivers of 301 do drive other routes after doing one little trip of 301. You know, so that's why after driving that one loop for five minutes or six minutes, he will switch to like one seven to two seven seven or other routes that also by the same contractors. Then he can drive other routes, not like this bus. The driver of this bus has to drive two nine two all day non-stop because this is the only route that uses this bus. So that's why <laughs> very unfortunate. Well, this is the same path as forty. This is how it goes into the airport. 
And this is the only route that goes into Airport Terminal 3 and 4 right now. If you accept the uh, Perth Airport shuttle bus. Yeah, this is the only Trans Perth route that goes in here. This is the spot for Qantas. All of the Qantas flights, Qantas planes are inside. I guess you sometimes, uh, I think Jetstar also used this because Jetstar is just the, uh, just the, uh, yeah. I don't know, I forgot that word, damn it. Yeah, it's just another, it's just a co-company of Qantas, I guess we could call that. Why the hell that taxi is driving on this? <laughs> just drove on the pedestrian road right there. Is that pedestrian road or is not? Oh, that's not, okay, that's a taxi, that's a taxi drive, okay. Okay, we've got some traffic jam problems. This is how always it is like for Perth term, Airport Terminal 3 and 4. Honestly, in my opinion, T3 and T4 is even more, more, more crowded than T1 and T2. Because T3 and T4 is, are the base of Qantas. No Qantas used T3, T1 and T2, so that's why. I think no one used T1 and T2, I think, for Qantas. Because my friend is flying back to Singapore very soon on a Qantas flight and he is also using Terminal 4. I don't know why he used Terminal 4 though. It should be Terminal 3, whatever. Okay. Okay. That's a lot of problems here. <laughs> Oh, I guess this is why you actually don't want to actually have buses terminating in here because it just blocks the whole path off. You see, I also want to say right now, actually, what's the point of using a luggage rack bus? No one even using a luggage rack. <laughs> yeah, I'm not even joking. There are zero luggages on the luggage rack right now. There are, I saw people actually got on with luggages, but none of them put on the luggage racks. Because it's completely pointless to put on a luggage rack. Like, think about this. This route goes from Redcliffe to Perth Airport. You basically will be just doing this, Redcliffe to Perth Airport. This section would take like less than five, like, although it takes more than eight minutes right now because of the traffic jam. But like 10 minutes, for example, like 10 minutes from Redcliffe to Perth Airport. Who would, this, who would think about actually putting, like wasting your power, your muscles, put the luggage onto the rack and after five minutes or something, then you put it back down. Why not just hold it inside your seat and just wait until you get off? <laughs> That's why, completely pointless. There are already some wardens actually helping with the uh, with the stuff here. This is the problem right here. Taxis just getting off people, disembarking purse piece of people or random like I think it's like random private cars that drop off people right here at the bus stop. It's just blocking off the whole bus stop. Okay. All right. So airport. All right, and now we're gonna go back to uh, Redcliffe. All right, now we go back to Redcliffe Station. Well, 
well actually of course you guys know I didn't really take the full circular because <laughs> it's a little bit weird to take the full circular and uh, this route is 15 minutes per bus and it will be always the same bus so that's why I just get off actually after the before the cut and I get off and I cut and I wait for the another service which is the same bus and of course the same driver as well so that's why <laughs> really unfortunate for this driver <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, but uh, yeah, I waited for 15 minutes for the bus to come back and I get on and take again. Now I go to Redcliffe. And the sky is clearing out, perfect. Now actually, I want to say is actually, I filmed, uh, the, the premiering sequence will be 291, 292 and 293. 291 should be done yesterday, 292, 293, so coming up 293, so don't go anywhere guys, but, but uh, so remember to go watch 293 after this. But the thing is, actually, I filmed it in reverse order. So I actually filmed 293 yesterday, and I filmed 292 right now, and I will do 291 after this one. So that's why. But uh, I will premiere it in 291, 292, 293 sequence. So that's why. Now we're this path will pass through the industrial center. We're not gonna go exactly how the original 40 actually goes. 40 does not loop into the uh, the uh, the industrial center area. It just loops right back out. Now here's the terminals here. That's terminal three. Terminal three is for internationals actually. Sometimes for international and some jet stars over here for terminal three. So terminal one is for other stuff like Virgin and uh, and uh, yeah, all of that stuff. Virgin, uh, any other ones for Australia? The Tiger Airlines is gone, so that's why I've taken Tiger Airlines before, but there, it is gone now. It's no longer available. It's like, I think bankrupt already or something. And no longer in, no longer having services. I don't know other, other oh, uh, yeah, I, don't, I don't know a, a lot about uh, Australian, Australian Airlines. Like Virgin, Jetstar, and Qantas. I think that's all. I think maybe there are more. Help me out. And now we take back to Redcliffe Station with this driver. <laughs> and again, no one is using the luggage racks. So that's why. <laughs> oh, oh, there, oh, there's actually one, 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 one on the luggage rack. One luggage on the rack. That's pretty cool. Go this way, we loop around the industrial center here. So this is a new path. This one this path is not serviced by 40 before, so that's fine. And again, if they set up 940 and terminate at the airport, then they can just set it up and loop this way as well for 940. Why not? So this route is really pointless, honestly, in my opinion. Just use 940 for the airport as well via Redcliffe Station. Then people have a choice to get off at Redcliffe and change the trains or just keep taking to EQ. You know? Much more straightforward. Don't need to put extra, don't need to build up extra routes and stuff like that. There's Costco over there. Which is still not very convenient actually if you want to go to Costco. Still pretty far from Redcliffe Station. Does actually 292 actually stops have a stop here? Nope. It would just do a U-turn and out, so that's why. This way and Rector Station, just back there. Now I filmed two nine three yesterday and two nine and uh, two nine two for yesterday is uh, two three eight oh. So that's why it's two twenty three eighty for yesterday. So that's why. 
today's 2379 and a red cliff station already back there this way is way smoother because you don't get stuck in traffic a little bit there's a bus over there 940 turning in but again you can see <laughs> what's the point of not having 940 to go to the airport it loops in here why not just, like I said already, a few times already. Loop in here, you can see there's a 940 right there. Right there. Why not just get this guy loop in there, and then come back out, and goes back that way, and then head to the airport, and terminates. At the airport. <laughs> Why not just do that? Although the traffic in the airport is a little bit hectic, so they might not want buses actually terminating there because there are too many crap. So that's why they use this route, because this route just stops there and leaves right away. Red Cliff Station, <laughs> back at the base, back at base, and this guy we're gonna do 292 again, <laughs> which is so sad. What? What's the point of actually pressing the bell? <laughs> Someone actually pressed the bell when the door opens. What's the point? And actually, this the, the driver knows that no one will actually get off in the middle stop, so that's fine. And overall the bus structures and I'll see you guys later remember to like and subscribe click the bell so that you can get notifications when I post yeah the stop is at the front over there check out the links in the description down below for my other channels and my Instagram click on this video up top and I'll see you guys later peace